Okay, so I just got off the phone with Leatherman's customer service. Called their 800 number, and I was kind of expecting that this was a simple problem with a simple solution. And I kind of walked away a little bit frustrated with Leatherman's customer service. Now, if you watched my previous video, I purchased these Leatherman Mutt accessory wrenches and I really just wanted to put one in the shop and one in my range bag. It's got a 3 8 wrench on one side and a front sight adjustment tool on the other side. I had a very hard time getting the front sight adjustment tool yeah, to perform its simple task. So perhaps foolishly after making the purchase and making my attempt to use these I then looked at some of the reviews okay. and there weren't many reviews on Leatherman's website but but at least a few of them were not too excited about their purchase after they made their purchase. Now like I said these are two five dollar items this is not a big deal and it might even be petty to make this video but in my opinion if a company's customer service can't handle something simple, easy, and inexpensive. Are they really going to stand behind their product when it is kind of a bigger ordeal? When you've got a $150 or $100 multi-tool that you have an issue with. Are they going to stand behind their product when they don't stand behind their product on a $5 tool here? So, um, I called and I spoke with the first lady and you could tell very quickly into the conversation that she was not a firearm uh, enthusiast. She didn't have much knowledge on firearms. And, you know, honestly, I wouldn't expect a company who predominantly makes knives and tools to really have a vast knowledge of firearms. But I would expect that if you have a product that can be used with firearms, that you would at least be familiar with the product and how it's supposed to work. So when I explained my, my situation where I was having a hard time getting the front sight tool to make adjustments on the front sights, she said that she wasn't familiar with the, the problem that I was having and transferred me to somebody else in warranty. I spoke with the second lady and they were both relatively friendly, at least initially. I, I explained to the, the second lady what troubles I was having and she didn't act like she was very familiar with the product to start with and didn't really understand what product I was even having a problem with and then she asked what rifle I was using as if to maybe say that it might not be the sight tool it might be the rifle she then put me on hold and said that she was going to ask around her department and see if anybody else had had this issue after a few moments, she got back on the phone with me and told me that nobody else had heard of this issue. So she had me re-explain the issue that I was having again. And, you know, I, I tried to give as much detail as you would think would be necessary to explain how uh, basically a screwdriver was having a hard time turning a screw. That's basically what's happening when you're making a front sight adjustment with a front sight tool. After a few moments, I mean, I, I, I basically explained to her a second time what problems I was having, and it was silent. I, I honestly thought I dropped the call, and, I, and after a few moments I said, are, are you following me? Do you understand what I'm saying? And I, I thought I was being pretty polite. I told each person that I had talked to, both ladies, that, you know, I love your products, and I've got a, a few of them, and I've never had an issue with, it, with any of your products before. I didn't come onto this phone call, guns a blazing over two $5 purchases. And she said, well, uh, let, me, let me transfer you to somebody else. So I get to the third person and he, he, he had me explain my issue and I was, I was really just kind of expecting them to say, you know what, if we've got a bad product out there, we don't want bad products out in public. If, the, if we have an issue with a product, we would like to have that back so that we can see what the issue is so that we don't continue to send bad product out the door 
which in turn would leave customers unhappy. And I kind of, I really just expected, like I said, this is a, this is a simple, inexpensive purchase. I expected the answer was going to be a simple, inexpensive answer. Figured at the very least they were going to say, you know what, let us send you a $3 shipping label, slap it on the package that you got these in from Blade HQ, send them back to us, and when we receive those, we'll issue you a refund of $10 for your purchase price. I figured that would be the least they would do. In all, in all honesty, for the trouble that I had to take to make the phone call, talk to three different people on their customer service, take the time to take the package up to the post office, get it shipped back, I would have thought that they might have even said, you know what, we're going to make a gesture of sending you something. Now, I'm not expecting an $80 multi-tool for compensation of my traumatic experience of not being able to use the Leatherman wrench but maybe a couple stickers and a hat or a hat or a shirt or or a bruiser. I don't know. I mean, like, I just something. If they were to spend $3 to have these items shipped back to them and then they were to give me my $10 back, they'd have under $15 in resolving this issue. But this is not the direction that they took it in. The first thing he suggested was that I should return these to the place that I purchased them from. Now, I purchased these from Blade HQ. Blade HQ, I have no question in my mind that, that they would accept a return on these. The issue I would have there is I spent $5 for this wrench, $5 for this wrench, $2.80 to ship them to me, and I'll probably spend $2.80 to ship them back. Till I get done not getting compensated for the first shipping and not getting compensated for shipping them back to the seller, I will end up with less than $5 of my original $10 purchase price. At that point, I may as well just throw them aside, call it a loss, and say they're junk. So he suggested that I return them. I explained to him, till I get done paying for shipping, to send them back, I might as well throw them in the trash. Figuring he would, at that point, say, oh, no, that's, that's not the outcome that we want here. We don't want you dissatisfied with our product and throwing them in the trash. That's not the best option here. I figured at that point, then he would offer, you know, let, let, us, let us get those back from you and compensate you for them. Like I said, we're talking 10 bucks here. This is not a costly solution. His second solution was, well, is it possible that maybe you could modify the wrenches? I was kind of taken back at that suggestion because, I mean, A, if I modify the wrenches, then my understanding that I'm going to void the warranty. As much good as it's doing me now, I still wouldn't want to void the warranty. Secondly, why should I have to figure out how to make your product do what it's meant to do? So I said, well, I'm not really interested in, in modifying the wrenches. And then he concluded the conversation with the thing that just astounded me the most. He said, well, you understand that you can take a bullet and make your adjustments with just the tip of a bullet, don't you? And I thought, so I took the time to purchase one of your products. I'm telling you that your product does not do what it was designed to do. And you're telling me my best scenario is to go to a solution that didn't even require purchasing anything from you. It just it just stunned me that this is the kind of guy who's answering customer service calls. He told me, "Well, I don't really have the I can I can talk to the the rest of the department and see if anybody else has heard this and talk to the guys in development, talk to the production, see if anybody else is having any issues with this, but I don't really have the authority to do anything else beyond that." And I thought, well, "Then why are you talking to me on the phone?" You know, this is a this is a petty little little deal problem. And I, I you know, I'm gonna toss these off to the side. That's not a big deal. The thing that bugs me, it's not the fact that the wrenches don't do what they're supposed to do. The thing that bugs me is that Leatherman, who I had tremendous faith in their name brand, has horrible customer service. If they if if the solution was as easy as you know, 15 bucks spent and we keep a customer happy. If that wasn't the solution, 
and they're just like sorry that you don't like our product if you want you can return it at your expense to the person you purchased it from and if that doesn't work for you you can modify it and if that doesn't work for you why don't you just go grab a bullet and make the adjustment with that wow I was kinda taken back and I gotta tell you it, it makes me pause and wonder if I'm ever gonna purchase anything from Leatherman again I like I said I, I have liked the Leatherman Surge that I got and I liked the Leatherman Bruiser that I have but you know if if this is how they're gonna stand behind their product I think I'm gonna look for a another provider for my tool needs this is kind of a, an interesting video I'm sure there's gonna be some guys that are gonna say quit crying about two five dollar tools uh, and that's not really the point of this I'm not I'm not all upset and hurt over two five dollar tools that don't do what they're supposed to do or at least half of the features don't do what they're supposed to do I'm I'm very confident that the the wrench is going to perform its wrenchly duties just fine my the subject of this video is in fact the the customer service and me being blown away that instead of them trying to make it right they kind of brushed me off at the end of the day that's what they did they brushed me off didn't ask for my name and number to contact me back after finding out if they do have issues with their their wrenches and other people have called in with the same problems didn't ask me for my address didn't ask me for my email address they just kind of brushed me off and that was that so but anyway I think I'm gonna be looking at other multi-tool brands it's a big world out there and we're bound to run into a shady situation until then keep your gear on you